What's going on guys? It's your boy DPJ here today with another Destiny video and today we will continue on with the info we see from Game Informer and their cover of the Rise of Iron. Now a lot of info came out of this, some of which I've already covered which you guys will find on my channel. I covered about the new exotics and also covered about the new gear as well as how you will get the Iron Lords gear when the Rise of Iron releases. Today I want to talk about something which well at the moment sounds incredible. But we are in fact yet to see exactly how it works. All we can go on is what's said by Game Informer. And that is a new way to customise your Guardian and your weapons. But before we get into the video, if you guys could drop a like, I would appreciate the support as it really helps out. Now this new way of customisation is called Ornamentation. And this is what Game Informer says about these ornaments. To further support customization, every class item that has ever shown up in Destiny is returning into circulation. With the exception of items from previous raids, class items once again colour match with your chosen shader. Those cloaks, bonds and marks add yet another way to set your hero apart. That in my opinion is absolutely epic. There are some amazing old school cloaks from my hunter which I just don't wear because they dropped my light level to such a way I just I just can't do shit. But now they're all coming back into circulation. That's absolutely epic. Beyond returning elements, visual customization of your guardian also has a brand new component called ornamentation. Ornaments are meant to offer expanded ways to set your guardian apart and they affect several of the new legendary armor sets as well as exotic weapons. Bungie stated that they introduced Chroma in April but that was only about illumination. Bungie stated they wanted to evolve that system into something that allowed not just color changes but to have geometry changes as well. For instance, you may end up having huge new pauldrons or a fur trim on your weapon or armor set. Ornaments don't change the functional options of an item but instead layer on a skin that changes its appearance in both subtle and dramatic ways. These prestige options are applied to items one at a time and during my experiments, still quoting Game Informer here, during my experiments I could change them back and forth at will. Already imposing raid armor suddenly gains new light and color effects. Cherished exotics like the Infective and Monte Carlo have new colors and visual effects. One weapon game informer stated they saw was visually transformed from its normal appearance into an ultra sleek golden age form, reminiscent of the popular sleeper simulant weapon. Like the recent introduction of Chroma, ornaments provide yet another rabbit to chase in the name of shaping your guardian's persona. Many of the armor ornament sets are only rewarded through top tier play. For instance, only flawless trials runs provide the ornaments necessary to tweak your trials armor pieces. Other ornaments including some of the exotic weapon ornaments and the Iron Lord's armor set are dropped from Radiant Treasures. Like Sterling Treasures before them, these packs can be obtained through both designate in-game activities and microtransaction purchases. So guys, we are basically getting weapon skins for exotics, as well as ways to set apart a lot of the new legendary armor sets. At the moment, I don't believe there to be any images of weapons or armors with these ornaments on, but there are a lot of new weapon images in the Game Informer article, which ain't covered by what we know. A lot of these new weapons and their new designs could indeed be what we've learnt today. All I know is I cannot wait to see more. Weapon skins in general are something we've wanted to see for quite a while. Ways to customise your weapon beyond trauma is a step in the right direction in my opinion. And obviously new designs will be added down the line by Bungie. Me for one, I cannot wait to learn more about this. But guys, tell me what you think about this down below in that comments section. Tell me what you expect. I mean, by the way Game Informer puts it, it sounds incredible. But we all know shit can be overhyped. But even though the idea of ornaments dropping, which can be applied to weapons to make them stand out and make your garden stand apart, is definitely a great, great thing. But like I said, guys, tell me what you think about this down below in that comments section. If you guys are new to my channel, subscribe for Daily Destiny. Do hit that like button, I do appreciate the support. And I'll catch you guys on that next one. Peace out until next time. Peace! Always in the wrong Knowing where we stand But you and I Will carry on We never get
getting right.